Hi folks, Troy with V-Twins and V8s coming back on to give you an update on our 240Z project. I know I've been slacking on this because I was trying to finish up the Imperial. If you get a chance, jump into my channel and you can look at the Imperial videos of all the functions and features of the car, plus a test ride when it's all complete. That was a two year restoration. We are just embarking on this journey here. We got the car all disassembled and now it's sandblasted. At my last uh, videotaping on episode number two, I put the, the vehicle on the rotisserie and I still had all of the accessories, the cables, the fuel lines, some wiring, that has all since been removed. I apologize for not having a film of all of that happening, but it's pretty basic stuff. So now I got it on the rotisserie and I've got it sandblasted all over and I'll show you what it looks like and what we're gonna have to deal with. Okay, so as you can see, like right in this area on the top of this frame rail, we got a little bit of Swiss cheese there. We've got a little bit up here in this corner, but actually this area of the engine compartment is really pretty good. We've got some old repair areas that we're gonna have to mess around with, especially in this area here to get things cleaned up. It looks like I had a little fender bender at one time. Um, inside the passenger compartment looks pretty good. Uh, looks like there was a repair done down here. It doesn't look like it's too bad. We can hopefully smooth that over. We still have some more Swiss cheese here. And uh, the inside really isn't bad. I really kind of like it. You know what I mean? I, I really am. Then we've got this rear hatch area. And this is a piece of rubberized sound deadener. And uh, the thing with that is, is the sand won't take it off because the sand just bounces off of it. And then this area here is all Swiss cheesy. I'll roll it over and show you. We got a little bit up in this area here too. So here we are on the other side. It looks great. Our frame rails are good. This is the area you can see it much better with the uh, on the sandblasted side here where the spare tire wells all um, Swiss cheese. We're going to take care of that. Uh, everything else looks pretty darn good. I mean, we got a little bit up in the wheel opening. I don't know what the heck happened here. Somebody beat the crap out of that. And then I noticed that right in this little spot, we've got a hole. But I mean, overall, you know, considering this is a 1971 car, this isn't really bad. I mean, somebody's done some patchwork on it, but it's clean and we can, uh, we can deal with it. Now, the other things we have is our cowl vent panel. We got that all blasted and cleaned up. Our fenders are all done pretty much on the inside. I am gonna strip those mechanically on the outside. Uh, the doors, I did all the, uh, got all of these doors, all the GM areas are done. Mechanically, we'll strip the exterior, the same with this fender. Over here on this side, we've got the hood. This hood is all done on both sides. You can kind of see that. And that looks great. There's our trunk lid. I get that all done. These headlamp extensions or fender extensions, whichever you want to call them, are done. Our uh, covers that go on the front fenders are good. This is our front pan, gas door, some brackets for our front pan. I've got a bunch of new pieces for that lower balance that we'll be, uh, that we'll be dealing with. But today I'm just going to take and mechanically strip the exterior of the fenders and the doors and get some hardware out and kind of mock this car up and see, you know, what areas uh, fit, what areas don't and things of that nature. 